Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to add images to our WordPress posts. All right, so let's get started here. Um, what I'm looking at right now is a post uh, that we already created. Our J Jane Smith is our new awesome guitarist post. Uh, we And uh, what's wrong with this post? Well, this post has got lots of valuable information here, but it doesn't actually have any images. And, you know, we, we tend to be visual peach people, and wouldn't it be cool if we could add an image to this? And that's what today's all about. We're going to learn about how to add images uh, to our posts. So to do that, um, we're going to go back to dashboard here, and um, let's take a look at all the posts that we have available so far let's just kind of remind ourselves of everything we've done okay we've got Jane Smith as our new awesome guitarist here this is the one we're thinking about editing we are going to click the edit this item uh, uh, button right here and here's our post uh, by the way um, in case you're wondering yes you could have absolutely just clicked the edit post button right up here to get to the exact same page I took the long way there Okay, so um, what are we going to do? We first of all need an image, okay, to, to upload. And um, what I've done here is I have collected a bunch of images in here. Um, and the format that you're going to use for images is either JPEG, GIFs, or PNGs. Um, and which ones you use under different circumstances, that's kind of the topic for a, for a different screencast. Maybe I'll do another one some other day about that. But, but suffice it to say, I'm going to assume that you've got uh, the images that you want to display on your website. In this case, the one I want is, here's a picture of Jane playing guitar. It's not really, I just found this on the internet. But don't tell anyone, we'll just pretend that that's Jane playing guitar. And I'd like to upload this image and, and embed it on that post. I think that'd be pretty cool. So let's start by, let's just put it right up at the top. And to do that, I'm going to position my cursor within the text where I want this image to show up. And let's say it's just, it's such an important image, I want it to show up right, right at the top. And right up here, we have add media. Media is just the word that WordPress uses to refer to any image, video, like any sort of media, media content um, that you're going to add to your site, like, you know, audio files, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click add media. And here we get this overlay window. Okay, this is new. And this is where we get to upload some files. Um, we There's also, let's just, before we do that, let's take a quick look at what we have here. We've got, um, by default, it usually opens up, uh, or it, when you when you haven't done anything else, you get this link that says upload files. If we selected media library, we would see all the items that are already in our media library. I'm going to talk about that in a few, in a, a, an upcoming screencast. Um, but there's nothing here because we haven't uploaded anything yet. So that, that all makes sense. Okay, let's go back to upload files. We've got the file, that file's on my, in, in that folder on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click select files. And by the way, WordPress is telling us right now we've got a maximum upload file size of 10 megs. That, that depends on your installation. Um, that's going to be perfectly fine. Um, so I need to go find this image. And I'm going to assume you can you know where the image is stored on your computer. Like you're going to navigate around your computer to find this image. Mine happens to be on my desktop and under the images folder. So I'm going to go inside here. And here's that picture of Jane playing guitar. This is the one right here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click open. And what's happening right now? It just uploaded it. Now that was actually pretty fast because this image, you know, it's not too, too huge. Um, and what we're seeing here is actually a little thumbnail preview of this image. Um, I don't know if you remember, I'm just going to show you for a second here. That image isn't actually cropped square. Um, what's happening here instead is this is cropped just, uh, cropped it just for preview uh, purposes. But rest assured, the full image is up here. Um, it's surrounded in a blue box and there's a little blue check mark and that's just a visual confirmation that yes we have uploaded that WordPress has uploaded that image and it is now look at that we switched over it's now in your media library okay um, and this is an important thing to remember about how images get handled by WordPress okay um, over okay we're not done yet we're not done yet don't just click insert in a post there's some important stuff we need to do here okay um, on the right hand side we see what's called attachment details okay and here's all the information about this particular file. There's the file name. 
Okay, Jane playing guitar.jpg. That's not surprising. Um, the date it was uploaded. This is the size, okay, in pixels. And so the first number refers to the width of your image, and the second number refers to the height of your image. And we could have actually verified this ourselves. I'm in a I'm on a Mac right now, so if I just do a command I on this particular file, I'll see here that the dimensions are listed right here. Okay, 1280 to by uh, 851 and it also happens to to record where I got this this image from I got it from Wikimedia um, Wikipedia Commons um, so so that is telling us how big that image is now is that image going to show up that big on our site well we'll find out don't worry um, and then there's a few things here that we can fill out there's a title and by default WordPress just takes the name of the file and puts it in there and um, in this case because I had truncated this this file name and there weren't any spaces it's kind of hard to read let's make this a little easier to read Jane playing guitar and you might be wondering why would we fill this out who cares it, you know what? It will make a difference, and I'll, I'll explain when we talk more about why, uh, how WordPress handles media, why taking the time to fill this stuff out actually is going to make your life much easier in the long run. A caption. Do we want to have a caption underneath this particular image? Okay, um, let's pretend that, let, let's just write a caption about this image would go here. We can change that later. Alt text. What the heck is alt text? Alt text is just alternate text um, that is available if for whatever reason somebody cannot view your image. And you might be thinking, why? when would I not be able to view images? It's surprising how often you might not be able to see images. Also, you need to t take into account people who might be on your site um, who are either surfing your site with images turned off deliberately Okay, and you're thinking, why is that? Well, there's lots of good reasons, you know, maybe to save on bandwidth, maybe they're on a mobile phone and they've got really bad reception or whatever. There's all sorts of reasons why. Um, you also have to take into account things like screen readers. Screen reader is just a, it's like a, a device or a software device that just goes through and reads aloud the text on your website. And, and you're like, why would anyone use one of those? Well, you know, people with visual impairments also use the web um, and they might use screen readers to assist them with figuring out what's on your your website. If you leave this blank, then the screen reader gets to that image, recognizes it's an, it's an image and pretty much that's it though. Screen reader can't say anything at all about what's in that image. And that's actually that kind of sucks for people who are blind or otherwise um, have have visual difficulties. So um, and, you know, um, making your site accessible to everybody, you know, is actually really important. Um, I, I don't know why you would want to deliberately exclude any portion, uh, you know, anybody, any part of the population. So end of lecture. The bottom line is always put in an alt text description. All this is, it's really easy to do. All this is, it's just a really brief description of what this image is and be truthful okay like don't be writing stuff like you know this is a picture of Justin Bieber when it's not a picture of Justin Bieber you know um, like just be truthful describe it accurately this will ensure that you have a website that adheres to web standards okay and that is important um, and it also means that your site will be more accessible to people and I'm sure that you want your site to be as accessible to as many people as possible um, and it's just it's just good it's just good practice to do. Oh, and it'll actually, you know, it could also help your search engine rankings too, because that's just extra text that Google's going to pick up, right? So lots of good reasons to do it. No reason not to do it. So let's go ahead and do that. Alt text is going to be here. Uh, I'll just say this is Jane um, um, playing a guitar solo, okay? And a description, um, we, could, we could write that the same way. This is a this is where the description of the image would go. I'm writing this here so we can figure out what all this stuff is and, and under what circumstances it shows up. Okay, so there we go. Um, alignment. Alignment, in this case, this is, this. by the way, this right here, these attachment details, this gets attached to this particular image, okay? Um, and this shows up 
you know, no matter where you you po post this image on your site, and we'll be we'll go back to that in a few screencasts and explain under what circumstances you might want to do that. This attachment display settings, this is only going to affect how this particular image shows up on this particular post that we're working on, this post right here. Um, so alignment, um, we get to choose, do we want it, you know, left, center, right, no alignment? Um, what do you guys think? You know, um, let's let's just leave it at none for now. We can go back and edit this and experiment with it, okay? Link to, what do we want this to link to? Okay, WordPress actually gives us the option to make this image into a link. Currently, it's set to link to the media file itself. So if you were to click on that image in the post, then you would just get that image. Okay, that image itself would just load up and you know, um, and you would just get that image. Um, you might want that. You could link it to a different URL if you wanted to. Maybe Jane has her own website and you'd want to put Jane Smith guitar.com that would be her website and you could actually have it so that if you link to if you click on that image it'll bring you to a different a different um, website that's handy an attachment page this is a page that wordpress creates automatically for all media and it's just basically it's its own custom page and you would go to this page within wordpress and it says this is the this media and you know here's the, you can download the full version here and it's just a special page um so i encourage you to experiment with that on your own i'm just going to link it to none to begin with just keep it nice and simple and finally, you get to choose the size. And we have actually um, all sorts of different sizes here. And we'll talk more about these in detail. Thumbnail, we'll reduce it to 150 by 150. So by default, by definition, that means it's going to crop it. And that may or may not look good, you know. So uh, medium, a medium size, large size, okay. And then full size, yeah, that's that 1280 by 851. That was the full size. Um, let's try medium. Okay, just to see what that looks like. Again, you can change this. Um, and uh, um, we'll talk more about sizing and when we talk in the screencast where we talk more about how WordPress handles media. Okay, normally you wouldn't spend all that much time making these decisions. Normally you would just fly right through here, type a couple things, choose your attachment display settings and hit insert into post. Let's go ahead and do that. And there is our image. Okay, let's go ahead and update this. Okay, this is, this is, WordPress is telling us this is what it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and update this and let's see what it actually looks like on our site. Because this gives us a, an idea, but I'd like to see what it looks like in C2 here. And there we go. Okay, so WordPress, this particular theme has done some automatic styling to our image. This particular theme, this is really subtle. I don't know if you can tell this or not, but this theme um, that we're using actually um, kind of rounds the corners of our images a little bit, which is kind of cool, okay? Um, not all themes will do this. All themes will, and we'll talk more about themes and how to change themes in a future screencast, but all themes um, will treat images slightly differently okay but in this case what they've done is is the theme slightly rounds the corners of the of the the image for you so that's a nice effect and look at this we have we have the words a caption about this image would go here and that's what we wrote in the caption part what would have happened if we hadn't put a caption in then nothing would show up there and that's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that you don't need to have a caption okay um and if i click on this we notice it doesn't link to anything because that's what we set up so so far so good so far this is behaving exactly the way we expected it to okay so that's pretty cool right okay but what if i'm not 100 percent happy with the positioning of this image right here Okay, what if what if this isn't exactly what I wanted? Um, what if I actually decided, you know what, I think it would look better if I floated it over to this side. I wonder if I could do that. Floating it over to this side and then having the text start here and having it kind of be in line here. We can do this. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click once on here and this allows us to go in and edit some of these settings. Um, if I, by the way, if I just wanted to delete this image from here, I could click the delete image, this, this red you know, cross bar right here, that would get rid of the image. But notice it wouldn't actually get rid of it from our website. Okay, and we'll talk more about that in the future. Um, it just deletes it from this particular page or post. 
And there's another way. If you really want to delete, delete an image from your site, there's a different way of doing it. But in this case, we just want to edit. And to edit it, we're going to click the little icon that looks like a picture here. And now we get a window where we have a few different uh, choices here. Um, there's a title here, okay? So let's actually let's actually say let's call this um, um, Jane Smith is our new guitarist. Okay, um, if we had changed our mind about the Earl, maybe we decided, you know what, we do want this to link to something, we could put it in here, and we'd have to put the full Earl here. So I'll just say janesmithguitar.com. Uh, okay, I don't think that's a real website. Let's actually put a real website in there. Uh, what's a real website? Uh, rollingstone.com. There we go. Um, Okay, and uh, look, we could actually do a few other things. We could we could tweak the size of this image if we wanted to. I'm not going to bother doing that. There's even some advanced settings over here. Whoa, I'll let you play with that at a different point in time. But for now, we've added a title. We've changed the alternative text here, the alt text that, that was from before. There is our caption right there. There's our link. And this right here, these are some alignment options. Remember when I said I wanted the, that image to float over to the right? So let's go ahead and select that. And we see sort of a visual representation of what it might look like up here. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and click the update button to apply that. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and click update over here. I'm going to accept that. And now that that's reloaded, I'd love to see what this looks like now on our site. There we go. Look at that. And there might be some tweaks that you might want to do. You might think, you know what, this is actually a little too close to the edge there. You might want to tweak the margins and stuff like that. Let's see if we can do that. I'm just, I'm very curious about tweaking the margins. That would probably be under advanced settings here. Yeah, you could probably play around with the border, vertical space, horizontal space, that sort of thing. Um, let's try adding. Uh, let's try adding 20 pixels of horizontal space here. Let's see if that works. We'll update that. I haven't actually played around with the settings in this theme, so this is a new thing for me. See what happened there? I just I tweaked that over a little bit, so there's a little bit more space. That's nice. Okay, we you could play around now. Um, the caption, you know what, maybe I've decided I don't want the caption there. Let's go delete that caption. Totally okay to delete captions, okay? You don't need any captions, okay? The only thing you absolutely need is that alternative text, okay? Let's go ahead and update that. Let's click update. And let's go reload that. And you're going to find when you're designing a site for the first time, you're going to find yourself clicking that update and going back and reloading quite a lot. Okay, what do you think of that? That's looking pretty good. And if I hover over it, see if you look in the lower left-hand side, you see a link to rollingstone.com, which means if I click on this, it's going to send me to rollingstone.com. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. Something else happened. See what has just happened? I hover over this and we see a little tooltip. It says Jane Smith is our new guitarist. Where did that come from? Let's go see. Jane Smith is our new guitarist. Okay, so we've just learned something new here, right? When you add a title to, to an image, it transforms into a tooltip. So just a good thing to know, okay? All right, so there we go. We have added an image to our our WordPress uh, post. Let's see what it looks like on the front page. Do 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 front page. Just taking its sweet old time to load there. What do you expect to see? I expect to see that image there, and there it is. Um, why is it showing up on the front page? Because we actually placed the image before that more tag. Okay. Um, if we deleted the more tag, which I think I just deleted it there, did I? looks like I did. Let's go ahead and click update. Then what would happen is on the front page we ought to see the entire article now, which is not working. Ah, oh, because I didn't delete the more tag. Anyway, I'll let you experiment with that. That's really the best way to learn, but suffice it to say we've learned how to add images to posts. Um, in the next um, screencast we're going to do a little bit more practice uh, resizing and aligning images and all that um, and uh, but for now I'm going to leave it at that so thank you very much for watching I hope that that was helpful and I'll see you next time